Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade the trackpad on your Lenovo ThinkPad P580 or P52S. Without further ado, let's get to it. Remove the external battery. Next, go into your BIOS settings to disable the internal battery. I've had someone comment on one of my videos why I always include this step. But I also had someone comment that he wished he saw my videos first before frying his backlight fuse. Always make sure you don't skip this step when working on your laptop. So we go to power and disable built-in battery. There you go. Press the power button a few times to make sure there's no power left in there. And now we can proceed with opening the laptop up. There are 8 screws holding the lower cover down. Let's loosen them to take the cover off. Remove this little cover here before taking off the lower cover. As always with the ThinkPads, I start from one of the rear corners and work my way forward. Once I'm done with that, I go to the other side and do the same thing. Then I turn my attention to the front edge, work my way to the middle, next we unseat the back edge, like so, and once the perimeter is off, you can just hold this right here and slide the cover rearwards to disengage everything. There you go. To remove the internal battery, lift this wire up right here and pull the plug from both corners. There are 5 screws holding the internal battery down. Let's loosen them one by one. Lift the battery up to remove it. With the battery out of the way, we can now proceed with removing the trackpad cable. So you lift this black plastic lock up right here. Hold the tab here and pull the cable out. Next, we remove the other side of the cable, so you lift the black tab here again. Pull the cable out. Four screws hold the trackpad down, so let's remove them one by one. Note that the trackpad screws are much shorter than the battery screws. Make sure not to switch them up. Open the laptop up to remove the trackpad. For those doing the glass trackpad upgrade, the only parts that work natively for the T580 and P52S are the ones that go 36008 and 36009. So make sure to watch out for that when you're buying from aftermarket vendors. Supporting the new trackpad with one hand, hold the laptop down using the other. With one hand still supporting the new trackpad, install the four screws but don't tighten them just yet. Once the four screws are started and secure, open the laptop up again. You can see that there's some room for movement around the trackpad. Make sure to center it and then tighten the screws from the other side. Aside from the trackpad being centered, you want to make sure that the two corner buttons can be pressed properly. Once you verify this to be the case, you can proceed with reinstalling everything else. Once all four screws have been reinstalled, you can proceed with reinstalling the trackpad cable. So start with the side that goes in the trackpad itself. So slip this side of the cable in. There's a black line on the cable and a white line on the motherboard to help align the cable. Once the two lines are aligned, you can go ahead and lock this down. After that, we slip this side of the cable in. Pushing it forward and lock this down. Once you're done with that, we can go ahead and reinstall the internal battery. 
There are pegs on the left and right side that help you align with the internal battery. See that? So drop the internal battery in, making sure those pegs go where they're supposed to. And reinstall the five screws that we removed earlier. Once all five screws are nice and tight, go ahead and reinstall the internal battery plug. Align it with the port and push it in from both corners. There you go. Now that we're done with everything, it's time to reinstall the lower cover. Press down on the perimeter to lock the clips in place. And tighten the screws. Don't forget to put this little cap back on. And reactivate the internal battery by connecting a power source. Lastly, don't forget to reinstall the external battery. Boot your laptop back up and make sure everything's in order. If you installed the 36008 and 36009 part number that I mentioned earlier, you shouldn't need to do anything else. Make sure both buttons work, and once everything's in order, you're good to go. I hope you found this video useful. If you want to see more of these videos, please feel free to hit like and subscribe to my channel. I promise not to spam your feed with clickbaity thumbnails and the like. Thank you for staying till the end, and I'll see you next time.